been involved with Sanderling Ventures from the beginning, uh, 1979. Uh, outgrowth of work I was doing as an investor, which began in 1972. Companies were going smaller and smaller, in my mind, where the interest was. And so I said to my partners, let's do a little venture capital. It was a nascent industry at the time, very nascent. When we looked at advanced cardiovascular systems, we began to understand a lot about what was going on in the coronary system. And what you could tell was that it wasn't just a simple plumbing job. After all, you can open the artery up with a balloon, but you can't keep it open necessarily. But then the next thing that happened is you can keep it open, but you can't really keep it from having other problems. There's a 30% morbidity rate in the cath lab. Thought that probably there was something to do with these lipid pools which are inside the coronary artery. Not everybody has them, but some people have them. And the people in the cath lab are probably the ones where you can find them the easiest, the quickest, and do something about it. And that's what attracted us to, uh, to this as an investment vehicle. What we know from the literature is that there is an association with putting a stent onto the middle of a lipid pool and having problems. That's a big part of this morbidity problem. We happen to know that the non-culprit vessel is oftentimes the reason people come back. You come in, you got a problem in one artery, you probably have the same physiology going on in other arteries, but you're only treated for the one that you came in for. The next piece of research is to find out how do we get to the non-culprit vessel that has that lipid pool and do something about it. As we go forward, CMS is going to get more and more critical of people coming back. And getting used to using this is going to give you better patient coverage, better job in the long run. And you can't afford that 10, what you might say, oh, I only have 10% of my patients come back. That might be true, but it might be as really 20. And maybe we got rid of both of those. Let's get it down to five. That's saving money, that's helping your patients. That's what we're all about.